In Lucky Envelope Game, there are four blue envelopes and four red envelopes. One of the blue envelopes contains a $10 bill, as does three of the red envelopes. Each of the remaining envelopes contain a smiley face with the message, Have a Nice Day. What outcomes are possible? In this lesson, you will learn how to describe events as subsets of a sample space by using characteristics of the outcomes. Let's review. You already know how to create an organized list. Here we see an organized list of all of the possible outcomes in the Lucky Envelope game. For each ordered pair, we see the color of the envelope on the left and its contents on the right. You also already know how to create a two-way table. In this two-way table for the Lucky Envelope game, we have the color of the envelope in the rows and its contents in the columns. The interior cells tell us the number of each type of envelope. Notice that both the row total and column total sum to the total number of outcomes possible. You also already know that there are two types of variables. Categorical variables are the type where there are classes of things with shared traits, whereas quantitative variables are things that, have measure, that you measure with units. For categorical variables, the sample space can be separated into a finite number of classes. However, with quantitative variables, there are an infinite number of possible outcomes. Since the sample space can be separated into a finite number of classes for categorical variables, we can easily put categorical variables into two-way tables where the rows and columns represent the classes. However, quantitative variables cannot be put into a two-way table unless we chunk all possible outcomes into categorical ranges. Oftentimes, people get confused between categorical and quantitative variables. For example, gender. Gender is a categorical variable because there are two outcomes possible. Your favorite actor's nationality is also categorical. For example, the actor could be American or not American. Grades. If the grade was classes or categories such as satisfactory or unsatisfactory, we could consider it categorical. Age. There are an infinite number of possible outcomes for age, so unless we chunked it into categories, this would be considered a quantitative variable. The number of text messages you sent. Once again, there are an infinite number of possibilities, so unless we chunked the numbers into ranges, we could not fit it into the two-way table, so it's a quantitative variable. The same thing for the number grade. Unless we chunked it, we couldn't fit it into the two-way table, so it's quantitative. Rainfall totals is also quantitative. What outcomes are possible? Here we see all possible outcomes as an organized list. If we put curved brackets around this organized list, we call this set the sample space. The count of, the, of outcomes in the sample space is 8. Now let's define an event A as picking a lucky envelope. We can see that there are four outcomes in event A. So event A is a subset of the sample space with four outcomes. Now let's define event B as picking a blue envelope. We can see that there are four outcomes in event B, another subset of the sample space. This same information 
can be gathered from a two-way table. Here we see the column total for obtaining an envelope with $10 in it is 4. And we can find the row total for the number of outcomes in event B, which was obtaining a blue envelope, is also 4. In this lesson, you have learned how to describe events as subsets of a sample space by using characteristics of the outcomes.